Hi guys, Robbie 46 here and welcome to my 10 reasons why I'm looking forward to MotoGP this year. At number 10, um, it's MotoGP. It's one of the only sports that I'm really passionate about. Um, it's pretty much the only form of sport that I'm interested in. Uh, well, I'm interested in all motorbike racing. Um, and all that, but MotoGP is um, where my heart lies. Um, I hate the off season um, because it just seems to drag and drag and drag. But MotoGP for me is the the best sport out there. Number nine, uh, Tito Rabat is going to be the first rider in Moto2 to do, to defend the Moto2 title. Um, Looking forward to see how that pans out. Hopefully, um, more riders are going to be more competitive this year and give him a run for his money. Um, he did dominate most of last year, but towards the end he was... Um, well, Maverick Vinales uh, kind of showed him up, but obviously Vinales isn't there this year. Um, so hopefully some other riders can rise to the occasion and uh, get some good battles going in there. Um, number eight, Moto3. Now, last year, Moto3 was awesome. Every, pretty much every single race um, was just awesome racing from start to finish. It was such clean, um, close racing, sorry. Um, and it was just amazing to watch um loads of riders at the top of their game just knocking lumps out of each other and i'm hoping this season's going to be more of the same it, it was always nice to start the um the days racing with my 03 last year because it was just such good good fun to watch number seven honda have upgraded their open class Hondas this year so they're going to be more co competitive so hopefully we'll see more riders towards the front of the race um, more battles going on so definitely looking forward to that number six Suzuki are back I have missed Suzuki the past few years that they they haven't been a MotoGP um, it's so good to see them back with two young talented riders on on their bikes um hopefully they're going to be competitive um but it wouldn't surprise me if they're not as competitive um as the other factories yet um but with the riders that they got um and the development that they'll get throughout the year hopefully we'll see them um starting to get stronger and stronger race by race number five Yamaha are going to be more competitive. I mean, beginning of last season, Yamaha, they... I mean, Rossi gave Marquez a good battle in Qatar, but they just seem to lack that little something uh, at the beginning of the season um, towards mid-season. But after mid-season, the Yamahas were back on the pace. Um, and I think that hopefully... Uh, Yamaha have kept up that momentum into the development of their 2015 bikes because um, I, I don't think they want to be in that situation again when they're just constantly trying to trying to play catch up so hopefully this season um, they'll be on top form from the word go and give give Honda a real good battle all season long number four the new Ducati um, I'm still waiting to see pictures of uh, the 2015 Ducati um, and information about it but I think Ducati have been doing some good work recently they've been working really hard last season um, was showing it really their bike has come on leaps and bounds from the dog it was a couple of years ago um, but yeah last year was good to see the Ducati near the front of the race uh, 
leading the races in the um, first few laps. Unfortunately, fading towards the end of the race due to uh, the tyres. But I'm hoping that they can sort all that out and be back at the front because uh, we miss the Ducatis at the front. Number three, we've got three Brits on competitive bikes this year, which is really, really good news for any British fan out there. Uh, of course, Bradley Smith, he's staying with Tech 3 Yamaha. Um, I think it's going to be Bradley's last chance to prove um, to everyone that he deserves a MotoGP ride. Because if he, unfortunately, if he doesn't get the results this season, I can see what's going to happen. He's going to end up losing his ride. Um, but fingers crossed he can pull it out of the bag and uh, get some really good results this year. Cal Crutchlow... Um, even though last year he kind of started to get the grips of the Ducati towards the end of the season. Um, but before that he had a horrid season played by crashes and mechanical problems. Um, but yeah, finally on a factory Honda, it's going to be great to see Cal back on form. Hopefully the Ducati hasn't messed with his head too much. I hope that he can show us the the cow that we all know um from his Yamaha days. Uh or hopefully be even stronger than that. But it'll be good to see him on a really competitive bike and hopefully see if he can start getting some podiums back. And obviously Scott Redden on a factory Honda as well. Um Scott Redden impressed me last year with the the pace he was setting on the open class Honda um, and even when I was at Silverstone just watching him following Marquez and Marquez was actually holding Scott up through the corners um, so I think as soon as Scott gets a grip with having more power um, than he's used to and just a better bike in general I think we're going to start seeing some really good results from Scott so expecting good things from him this season number two is the overtaking and battles that we get in MotoGP. Um, I mean, last year we had quite a few decent battles um, between Marquez and Rossi, Marquez and Lorenzo, Marquez and Pedroza. Basically, the, the top four, you know, we, we saw some really good overtaking, some really good uh, battles. Um, same in Moto3 as well. The battles in Moto3 were just unbelievable to watch um yeah i'm definitely look, looking forward to more of the uh awesome battles and overtaking which we get in moto gp and motorbike racing in general you don't really seem to get it as much in f1 um but moto gp is uh is good to watch for the the battles and the overtaking and number one for me personally it's got to be rossi um Two seasons ago, when he rejoined Yamaha, um, he had a bit of a a bit of a strange season. He started off well um, in Qatar, and then it just kept getting fourth place after fourth place after fourth place, and um, it was just pretty much best of the rest um, that season. He did get one win in Assen, but last year he must have had an epiphany or something because. He was back on form. He even changed his style to uh, to suit the bike more, um, and it definitely worked. It was so good to see Rossi back at the sharp end, pretty much every single race. Um, him and Mazzano, uh, that that was probably the best race for me that year because he he just looked. Looked like his old self. Um, the strange thing with Rossi is that he looks... Ag when he's on it, he looks aggressive yet smooth at the same time. Um, and it's just so nice to watch. And, you know, in Mazzano, he just gave everything. And even Marquez couldn't keep up with him as he started slipping back. And then Marquez, um, unfortunately, made the error and cut a corner and crashed. But... I think if Rossi can keep on the form that he's on, um, 
I would love to see see him um, battle Marquez for the championship this year. Um, he's still got it in him. I don't care what everyone says. I mean, people wrote him off pretty much when he was on the Ducati, which, fair enough, I could see why he didn't do anything at all on the Ducati. Um, but then people were still writing him off at the end of... Uh, well, when he first rejoined Yamaha and at the end of that, his first season back at Yamaha as well. But um, I think he definitely shut a, a few people up last year. Um, and I just can't wait to uh, to see what he can pull out the bag this year. Anyway, guys, that's uh, my top 10 for why I want to watch, well, why I'm looking forward to uh, watching MotoGP this year. Um Say in the comments why you're looking forward to watching MotoGP this year. Um, and uh, we'll see if we've got the same sort of ideas or completely different. But um, yeah, tell me your opinions. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.